<coughs> I'm sorry, my friends. Here we are. Yoruka Mas is speaking. Sorry for the microphone, which was uh, off. And we are tracking this small object, 2020 UF3. This asteroid is uh, uh, going to be extremely close, but safely to our planet in uh, 15 minutes when it will be at 40, 42,000 kilometers from our planet. That is 11% uh, of the average lunar distance. And uh, this is a small rock, by the way. The dimension as seen from the JPL website is uh, somewhere between 6 and 13 meters. So this object is uh, pretty small. And I'm impressed to see how fast it is moving. It, is, uh, it has a relative speed relative to the Earth of uh, 22 kilometers per second. And you can see how our telescope is doing a super job tracking it, even if it is moving that fast, my friends. And uh, I'm happy that uh, I could take a chance to share with you this as soon as I saw this object announced, I asked the system to adjust a bit. Not sure. Let me check. I'm happy with what we're seeing here, friends. And uh, this is the asteroid 2020 you have 3 And this is coming so close after the other asteroid we tracked a couple of nights ago. It was 2020 UA. And uh, Basically, it was the same size and it was marginally uh, farthest and, uh, and, uh, and I'm happy, and, uh, but it was uh, apparently moving much slower than this. This is extremely fast. To my knowledge, this is uh, the fastest asteroid I ever tracked and uh, I'm particularly happy that we are observing this live via the virtual telescope project. This was a last minute announcement because uh, I decided to share this as soon as I noted this object. It was uh, three hours ago, and I'm happy that you had a chance to learn about this opportunity. Amazing, amazing object. The fastest asteroid I ever tracked, I believe. I have to check this, and while we are speaking, let me check also the distance of this guy right now. And... Uh, Okay, let me do some calculation. Here we are. We should be, let me, let me do the calculation. We are already 43,000 kilometers. We are incredibly close, but safely. <laughs> I always underline this, my friends. How beautiful to look at this together is for me and I'm happy that the virtual telescope project is making possible for people worldwide to see something like this, my friends. If you don't mind, I would like to refine the pointing. I cannot tell you how hard is what we are doing here, my friends. But our system is mastering this task beautifully, as you can see. Okay, let me reset the image display. Okay, now I will try to adjust the position of the asteroid. I will try to put this a bit closer to the center. I cannot tell you how hard is the task the telescope is performing in this very moment, my friends. Very few telescopes in the world are able to do what we are doing right now. Going back to my other images. And uh, I believe you can enjoy this as I'm doing. 
This is our story 2020 UF3, which is a few meters large, which is uh, safely coming extremely close to us, as I, I said earlier. And we are approaching the very moment of uh, the, the flyby. While we are speaking, there's a little rock. I'm just checking a few things, if you don't mind. <clears throat> and we are basically at the minimum distance right now. And you can see how just three seconds are giving us this extremely, extremely fast motion. How beautiful the experience is for me. As I told you, this is a record of servicial, at least for me. And I have seen tons of asteroids, my friends, you know. How amazing this is. And it is going to set quite soon now. Because if you look on the sky map, you will see that this object is now here. 20 minutes ago it was here in Taurus, now it is in the Lynx constellation. Amazing observations. And all this is happening right away thanks to the virtual telescope project my friends Gianluca Massi speaking from Rome I'm particularly proud to be here doing this making possible for you to look at this How beautiful, my friends. <coughs> okay. How impressive all this is. With the telescope performing something exceptional. And accordingly to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, this one should be at its minimum distance in uh, seven minutes now. in this very moment well actually considering that I am not in the center of the earth the minimum distance from my observatory will be at in uh, four minutes according again to the mine to the jet propulsion laboratory And of course, if you consider that uh, if you are on the surface of the Earth, you can also be closer to the asteroid respect to the center, okay? And uh, we will be closer than 40,000 kilometers. 
how exciting all this is. As you can see from time to time, the tracking is not perfect because the system is updating uh, the apparent speed of the object every minute. And now that speed is changing so fast that every minute is uh, just too, too little. But now look how beautiful, how beautiful tracker these images, my friends. I'm amazed, honestly. We are bringing something exceptional to our friends. Let me to remove the crosshair, which is likely giving, giving troubles. I find all these amazing. Tracking Astro 2020 UF3 in real time via the virtual telescope project. There are some clouds in that direction, I believe. But truly, truly impressive. Well, I hope that this uh, quick view was uh, worth your time with us. And uh, I apologize if at the beginning the microphone was mute for a while, but uh, I think that we really succeeded doing something great tonight. So thank you everyone for joining this last minute opportunity and uh, keep looking up and keep looking, following uh, the Virtual Telescope Project. Gianluca Masi, Rome, Italy. Good night.